recording. We're recording now. All right. Hello and good evening, everyone. Um, let's get started. Chris, would you please call the roll? Tom Schulte. Here. Todd Levieri. Here. Michael Chen. Here. Chris Labris is here. Victor Alvarez. Here. Maria Weingarten. Here. Robert Hamill. Here. Colm Dobbin. Here. James Yao. Here. Nick Matrikas. Here. Jan Schaeffer. Diana Carlson. Here. Okay, thank you. Um, let's do this. Let's approve the minutes. If, or could I have a... <clears throat> A motion to approve the minutes for three meetings, the 5th, the 7th, and the 27th of March. I'm happy to do them separately if there are any issues, but if we can bundle them together, let's, let's, anybody have any but discussion, I, I questions? I was absent for the, for one of them, so I can't. Okay. All right. Oh, we're probably okay. Any questions, discussions on any of the meetings from the 7th, the 5th, and the 27th? We're good. Victor? I'm good. All good. Okay. All right. Well, then a motion to approve those minutes. So moved. Tom, second. I'll move. Colm. Yep. Colm, thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 None. Okay. So moved. Okay. Let's just a couple of things on the agenda. We're going to have the first selectman's update. We've got an ARPA uh, appropriations update. Um, <clears throat> And then I was going to have Ann and Josh come and do the financial update in the one, I think we have one transfer, right? One transfer. Uh, then Tiger, have you come up. So bundle those things together instead of have you guys going back and forth. Okay. Then you come up, you can do the Banco pool parking lot and then have a discussion on the playhouse. And then, as you know, we've got about 14 um, uh, bond appropriation um, votes to take. I will take that in a couple of votes. We can bundle some things and I'll walk you through that when we get to that part of the agenda. So with that, over to you. Okay. Um, since the last time we met, we had the um, town council review of the budget and uh, they passed last Tuesday evening, 4.99% uh, year over year um, increase in expenses. Now, after that, we are um, in the process of doing interviews for our um, pension advisor. Thank you, Tom, for uh, helping with that process. Um, we also brought in a community member who specializes in, <laughs> has been a huge asset to the committee, um, you know, had a, has a career in pension consulting, so is a great resource for us and happens to know basically everybody in the industry. So. Right been great for us. Um, so that's this week. Uh, we did retain um, our current legal firm, Birch and Moses. Uh, we went out to bid. We got five, five, um, you know, bids were returned and um, proposals. And we met with two of those firms because they were the only ones that were really prepared to sort of service the community the way we needed it. And um, Birch and sort of one out in Good. the, in the, and then uh, next week we will be meeting with both internal and external auditing firms. So um, the audit committee, so that will be the audit committee, myself and um, Mike Morrow from the town council will be um, looking at, at uh, those, those companies and uh, bringing that in. And then the last thing is we had a great uh, PSA that was created by our fire department. If anybody wants to view it, it's on the town website. If you go into public sa the public safety tab um, under fire, you can watch this great um, public service announcement about how to protect yourself from surges, electrical surges. So um, I encourage people to watch it. That's it. Thank you. Any questions? Okay. Um, and do you want to walk us through ARPA? And just as we're doing that, so in our, just to jump ahead a little bit, our May meeting, we'll have the WPCA meeting. We also have a regular agenda. We've got a few follow-ups. Um, we talked about pension committee and some others, and we will stick with voting on the mill rate in June. And we have a real good bead on the surplus Josh is running and 
that, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you, ARPA. So uh, ARPA to date, we received uh, 5.9 million, 5.987968. Um, we have spent 5.249334. So it's a balance of 747,634 and change. So we are actually pulling that in because this is considered a reimbursement. It's under 10 million. We can consider it as a loss of, re of revenue. So it's a reimbursement to the town. We're taking this residual 747 and we're bringing it into the general fund for fiscal year 25. So I just wanted to give you an update if that's then our full allotment has been committed, which is required by the end of fiscal year, tw uh, calendar year 24 and needs to be spent by calendar year 26. That's where we stand with Any right questions now. on that? I think we talked about that. It seemed like the right thing to do, and we know we'll use it for town-like things. <laughs> so when you say it needs to be spent, does that mean it needs to be committed to be spent? Committed is the end of this year. So this okay. is the last of the amounts that we needed to commit. Right. So this will be everything will be completely committed at this stage. And then everything has to be spent. This will be spent, obviously, in fiscal year 25, so we're fine. Um, everything else has to be spent by the end of uh, 2026. Right. So, so if... If, if some of the money that we allocated went to the purchase of equipment, we bought the equipment, it's delivered, it's paid for, it's done. But if some of the money was associated with a project, say, could we get on an agenda at some point, whether or not we're coming close or what's the question? You know yeah, I mean? we're tracking them right now. And okay. probably around July, I'm going to reach out to the departments going, this is what you have left that was allotted to your department because the anywhere where it went to a third party, the 5013Cs, they're yeah. gone. So they're out and they're gone. So they've been committed and spent in our perspective and filing. Um, it's going to be internal now to say, have you done what you needed to do with it? So right. that'll be something in July. I'm going to go, have you, are you going to spend it? Is it done? Because like you said, December 24th is our committed right. date. So why like July though? Well, cause that's the time where I want to see where everybody is when they get through this year, that gives them six months to say, are we going to spend it? That was just, I could do any time, but I was just going to wait till then. I, I can do sooner Let's if you do want to June, do June. I'll tell you why. Because July, sure. then we have it in June. We've seen it. And then we don't have a meeting in August. So you, if you do July, we're really not talking about oh, it until September. Right. That's so it's probably and, just and, a handful of TikTok. TikTok. It can only be yeah, a handful yeah. of things, right? Yeah, that's yeah. But like some of them were June. like, I think there was like a CHP over at the YMCA, et cetera, right? Those kinds of things. And that might be a bigger project than the amount we contributed. It might be our portion of it. If, if it's to the Y, we would be actually giving that money to the Y and then it's done. Oh, I see. So once it's in their hands, it, we're, we've, we're, sat, we've checked that box. Right. It's internal. It's all our departments that for if we did trees, if we did the technology for here, we did some, yeah. uh, ARPA for the Playhouse. Right. Those type of projects are the ones I'm looking at to okay. say. Good to know. Yeah. But those funds, know. Yeah, those funds always need to be spent, though, for um, capital or projects or stuff, right? They can't go into the... Um, allocation to uh, bring right down in. the mill rate no well and how do you keep track of that well we're bringing it back into the general fund which in essence will bring back will bring down the mill rate but we're allowed to bring that in because it's reimbursement for revenues lost so because we're under 10 million dollars we actually don't have to say what we did with the money I see. but one of the it's we keep track of it, but we don't have to say because we, when I report, it's just truly uh, uh, reimbursement of revenue lost. So then it's in a safe harbor then after that. Yeah. Then that was good. an acceptable option for our yeah. first yes. lost parking, you yeah. know. And, well, we certainly lost yeah. tons of parking right. revenue, so. Okay. okay. Wait, so, so what does the, the 2024 and the 2026 deadline mean then? So the 2024 20, means we have committed to do something with it. So other than this 724 right now, 724,000, we've committed that to other projects. Uh, anything where it's third party, 5013Cs, YMCA, that's already gone. Um, so that's committed and it's been accounted for. What's left is what we've done internally. This 747 will go into our 2025 budget. So now it's been committed, it's been used in that budget. Um, it's the other, I'm trying to think of some of the projects Lapham right now. Lapham Center Generator. Yeah. Lapham Center Generator, um, uh, Sidewalk, it's Playhouse, it's here. Tree Planting. So those are ones we're controlling. They're the ones we have to make sure it will be spent. Okay. 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 It'll probably right. easier just to take this um, chart and then just add a column and say what's been allocated. Oh yeah, I have, I should have yeah. brought it up. I'll share it with you. I have what's, okay. what was assigned yeah. budgetarily what's been spent to date and what's left. Perfect. And that's what I'm tracking. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. I'll send that out. 
Okay, do you want to come up for the finance review then and we'll do the one line item transfer? <clears throat> Where's my budget? Oh. All right. Let's make this a little bit bigger. So you should have on your tablets um, the, the resolutions. <laughs> uh, year to date financials as of the end of March. Um, that is about three quarters of the way through the year. And starting at the revenue side, the total revenue is at 99.65%, um, with about 600,000 left to go to the budgeted uh, 160 million. Um, at the main revenue source, the tax, collect tax collections is at 100.8. Um, right now it's about 1.3 million over what was budgeted. This marks about a 99.3% collection rate up, up to date so far. And obviously those are trailing off as the second tranche has come in in January and is kind of continuing on in drips and drabs. Um, building permits are at 78% uh, trailing last year by 65,000, but those are obviously coming back as the spring comes back. Uh, conveyance fees are at 70%. Uh, trailing last year by 166,000. Uh, last year had a dip in conveyance fees in January, February, and current year we're having a dip in February, March, and hoping to see that kind of slope back upwards again towards April, May. Any read on that one? I mean, we dropped the budget, but you know, to accommodate a slowdown. Was that gonna? Um, I mean, I, I would say if we took it last... is seasonal. It is seasonal. Yeah. So if there's... we took last year's kind of return back mm -hmm. um, uh, like at the end of the year and kind of trended it against this year, we'd probably come in on budget the one okay. million. Okay, oh, on is okay. We're close Good. to it, yeah. Okay. Um, interest on investments is- of course, What about that, parking? You don't want to talk about parking? Did I jump over parking? You did. I did jump <laughs> over parking. That's on. So parking is at 72.5%, um, which is uh, 675,000. Uh, trailing last year by about 26,000. Um, this was this report was produced um, before the April numbers for meters were introduced, which was an ex extra 20,000. So it's really only lagging by about 6,000 okay. from last year. Okay. Another. Well, there's that also. Uh, um, so I, if if you technically if you accounted for um, the over budgeting of the parking by about a hundred thousand because it was budgeted in the general fund and the parking fund when it should have been netted to five hundred thousand. Technically, we would be at about ninety-seven percent uh, of of uh, the meters and and pretty close um, on on the permits as well. Um, returning back to interest on investments, they're at one hundred twenty-eight percent or two hundred two thousand over budgeted the budgeted nine hundred thousand. Um, and 21% up from last year. Um, any questions on revenue outside of those? We saw in your summary, you mentioned about the um, looking at the wait list and seeing about potentially adding more people. Yeah, I think um, Stacy over at Parking is working down the wait list right now. Um, I think she works down in groups of 20, 30 or so, um, trying to fill those spaces. It's actually down. It's well, down the list, believe it or not. Yeah. So how long? <laughs> how long? How long is the list now? Or is like how many oh, years like wait is it? It's a pretty long list. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was. Um, she's been going down by sort of increments of 50 mm -hmm. people. Um, what we're finding is that people are really taking advantage of the pay dailies, the box cars, because people are going in sort of, you know, two, three days a week kind of thing. Um, she is presenting to the Board of Selectmen on Monday a recommendation from the Parking Commission last Wednesday at their meeting last Wednesday to um, look at some of the business premium business permits that we receive from the town, particularly at Morse Court, where it's, it seems to be a little bit of a log jam. But as far as the lumberyard revenue, um, it's you know, she is moving down the list. I mean, at one point, I think we had an all time high of 1200 people on the list. She's down to a couple hundred, I believe. Great. Yeah. So do we have some upside possibly in other 
budget was four four. We've already collected basically four one. So I think the largest bit of that is unrealized gain loss. Mm -hmm. That's that's probably at the top of it. That's yep. about nine hundred thousand. I think is in there. I don't think this is going to make, move too much. Right. Outside yeah. of that, uh, municipal revenue sharing uh, came in. It wasn't a budgeted item, but it was 233000 Will um, we hit our budget? Maybe. No, you're making me nervous. Um, Will we hit the 4-4? Four four? I'm not sure we're going to hit the 4-4. Four four. You think 4-1 okay. is where we are? Maybe a little bit more? M maybe a little bit more, but I don't think much more than that right now. No. Okay. Perhaps, yeah. And transfer, that's transfer, transfer and stations that's in there it. as well for sticker fees. That's going to go up over time as well. Okay. 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 Um, on the expense side, anything to shout out? On the expense side, we're at 66.8%. Uh, uh, it's pretty much on par with where we were last year, by off by about 0.7 or so. Um, we are going to see some savings on the debt service since bonding only took place um, in March. And so it was anticipated to be earlier. So it's going to hit next year instead of this year. Um, so we will see some savings on that. But other than that, we don't have any specific highlights on the expense side. Well, this is we're running 2 million less, 2.4 less than last year. So it's 2.4 million less on a larger budget. But if you go back to where we were percentage wise last year, it's it was 66. It's about the same. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Okay. Questions? Everyone's trying to calculate what our surplus will be. Being conservative right now at about two million. Okay, um, so I'm currently forward. going through all the um, personnel side of things because we can control the expense side because that's through POs mm -hmm. and, and whatnot. But you know, over time. We're looking at that right now. Um, I may come back for some contingency to cover some because we had a couple of different open positions that we need to cover. We also had the three new SROs. It is only for three, four months, but it's three, four months of medical salary, um, their gear, cars. Yeah, so um, that's going to use a little bit more of our contingency down, but we're protected for that. So um other than our, our debt service, obviously, is a, is a definite savings of about 650000 um, on those lines. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Column or Michael? <clears throat> nope. No questions. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I'm good, too. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Then let's do the line item transfer or approval so to approve there is just one transfer from contingency to the expenditure line for volunteer tax abatement uh, of seven thousand three us uh, seven thousand three hundred thirty nine dollars and ninety two cents and this we just had more applicants that you know th this is set based on their avail um, eligibility mm -hmm. um, so it came in higher than what we budgeted Okay. Are you getting more volunteers? Where are the volunteers volunteering? Um, they're actually, it's in New Canaan, plus we also have Stanford, Norwalk volunteers that are coming into our town. EMS and EMS, fire. Oh, sorry, EMS, EMS and, fire, and fire, sorry. Fire. Yep. Okay. Yep. Great. Uh, is that a vote or a... That's a, that's that's a, a vote. Approval? Yeah, that's a vote. Okay. Any other questions about that? It, just curious. Right. What is the max? Like, is it per capita? 2,000 2, max on everything. And, so, and some people don't put in for it? Or um, it? No, well, some, so say we have someone from Stanford, they're only putting in cars. They're not putting in their right, house. Not, Residents are putting in their house. Yeah. So we don't know what that, that number end up being. Thank you. Any other questions on that? Motion to approve? So um, moved. Victor, second? Second. Maria. Maria, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, Aye. Colin and Michael? Aye. Yep. Yep. Okay. Opposed? <laughs> Excuse me. None. So moved. And Thank you. There are also oh, the nothing to vote on, but to review, there are several line item transfers amounting to uh, 37,122.40. Nothing really. Did you have anything you wanted to? No, nothing really, no. Everybody Just read them. Kind of people gearing up towards the last quarter of the year and moving things around to cover okay. expenses. 
Okay, anything else, Ann, with Josh? That's it. Nope. All right, Tiger, you want to come on up? What do you think? Well, since he's up and Mike's here, why don't we do the taco first, actually? Take, take it out. Yeah. And then that's the way to do it. Oh, you want to do the resolution on it right then and there? Right then, it just when we'll do these topics, and then we just say we're going to pull the capo one out separately anyway. It's so already out, yes. We'll it's do it first. Own resolution. Because the bike's here, and we'll just get that done. So, that you don't have to... yeah, that's fine. That work for you? Okay. Okay, so this is the Benko pool parking lot the discussion, switch? and then the playhouse update. Okay. The, um, <clears throat> So for Benko Pool, um, we had it in fiscal 25, slotted in fiscal 25 um, budget that you approved, that the town council approved. But in order to, <coughs> excuse me, do the work um, prior to the opening of the pool, the pool opens on May 31st, Memorial Day, we were asking to have that money brought forward or as, what is a special appropriation? Appropriation, special appropriation for that. We went out to bid, um, we received four bids uh, Burns Construction was the low at 286,330. They ranged from 286,330 to 436,375. Um, we had two that were very close. My estimate was approximately 292,000. So I was nestled in between Burns and FGB. Um, we added a 15% contingency, which is standard um, at 43,000 for a total of 329,330. The contractor's ready to go. We can bring it to the Board of Selectmen on the 16th for contract approval. He'd like to start on the 17th since his schedule is basically taking him all the mid-May and we have about a week of float. And we're asking for him to be done May 23rd, a week before the opening. So I've got about a week of float in there that I, I'd like to you know, make sure that we can stay on top of it. Um, that's hence the reason to ask for the special appropriation. And then when the monies become available, we won't need the monies in the fiscal 25 budget, we just use the fund balance at present. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, thank you. Have we used Burns before? Excuse me? Have you used this we, it, It's a great question. So no, we have not. Yeah. Um, Burns has done the gas work in town for Eversource Gas. Okay. The, uh, so they've been in town for quite some time. They understand our, our uh, um, what we require. But the interesting thing is that Burns started a site development side um, of their, they have certain, they have a water side, they've got a gas side, they wanted to start a site um, development side. Mm -hmm. So they hired uh, a gentleman named Brian Oman, who was the general foreman for Deering Construction. He had done probably 20 years worth of work for the town. And they hired as their project engineer, Chris Manella from FGB Construction, who had done 20 plus years of work for the town. So the two of them, are working now for Burns, and my feeling is that based upon those two gentlemen's resume and success rate with the town, that I'm comfortable with Burns. And, and can you, what accounts for the differences between the bids? The, uh, <clears throat> those are great questions. The, um, so overall, the um, really comes down to two were very hungry. Um, Burns and FGB were very hungry. And it just comes down in the end to a little bit on the uh, on the mobilization and maintenance and protection of traffic. Um, FGB was slightly above um, Burns on those two. They had a slightly lower paving um, uh, per tonnage. We break everything out by item, right? So we've got probably a dozen items from mobilization all the way down to the traffic officers and includes striping, turf establishment, the sidewalks that are required, the, the and the paving. Um, Burns understands that, that they're not necessarily as efficient paving wise as FGB, but they felt that their, their strong suit was in their sidewalks and their granite. So they made it up there. So across the board, they're very equal. Um, but, uh, again, slight, slight differentiation, but, um, nothing to be concerned about, if you will. And did the RFP specify a fixed price or is this time? It's of not a fixed price. We do it. It's not time and material. It's all on unit price basis. Okay. So we estimate out exactly what the quantities will be yeah. for paving, um, sidewalks, granite curb installation, things of that nature. They bid on that, then we estimate it. Then at the end, um, we measure the sidewalk, amount of sidewalk installed on a square foot basis. I measure the amount of granite curb installed on the, on the linear foot basis. 
and then the amount of tonnage. So we, we actually pay by the ton. So we get what we pay for. So it's not a square yard and we say, oh, we want two inches thick. We pay for exactly what we get. They have to stay within specification. So the specification is a half an inch per inch as far as trying laying it down and then compacting it in place. And we do a yield off the backside of it, meaning that we actually go out and calculate the square footage. I take the tonnage and I back solve in to make sure that we got the proper amount of thickness. So there's a yield calculation in the end to make sure that he's within specification. If he's over specification, he's, and he's, you know, outside of our direction, say we would necessarily wouldn't have to pay um, for that. Is the 15% our contingency on top of Fif his bid or is that he put, they no, put that 15 is ours. That's, that was a standard that the town council installed back in 2012 for projects such as this, especially since we're on an estimated basis, right? So I'm estimating the amount of square yards. I'm estimating the amount of tonnage. Yeah. I can't nail it perfectly. Yeah. It's, you well, know, you have the risk that the calculations wrong. We have the risk that my calculations are incorrect. That's yes. It's a good exercise though. It's been a while, you know, we can at the end of the year kind of look at sort of what, how much contingency we've been using on projects and maybe revisit yeah. is 15 the right number given all the experience is 10 okay I yeah. mean, we take we a look yeah it, it we, grand year. I mean, it wouldn't make it we have yet to go over yeah. to be quite honest yeah. we hover yeah. around two to four percent to be quite honest but two or four percent doesn't give me time to sleep if you will because if the problem is that the yeah. contract's fluid. So as it's fluid, I would have to stop at mid stride to say, wait, we're tending to go over. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to, you know, that makes it difficult. We do not publicize this. We've had this discussion before as to whether or not they pay attention on their side. I have yet to have a contractor tell me that, you know, I understand you have a contingency on the project yeah. there uh, because we necessarily just, we've estimated the amounts. And while I mean estimated, we've measured the, mm -hmm. the amount of parking lot we have. Okay. And then from there, I've done a calculation based upon what, you know, how many pounds per square yard inch asphalt is, you know, is, and then calculate that. Um, so the quantities are tight, but they're not perfect. Obviously, since there is a, there is in the specification, this allowance for, you know, he can't hit two inches perfectly. He's going to hit two and a quarter. He's going to hit two and three eighths, things of that nature. And, and technically we received that. I should pay for it. It's to our benefit to have a slightly thicker mat. So it's to our benefit, but we have a caveat on the backside that if he goes too far over for the yield calculation, we don't have to pay if he came in and just, you know, made it, made it thicker than necessary. Okay. What's driving the reason to move the project forward into the 24 budget? The fact that we'd like to do it before the season starts and not after, because if I pave it in September, then it's going to lie fallow for nine months before we have the season again. So we'd rather do it now. And do you do it after, because a certain amount of time has lapsed since the last time you paid? It's about 20 years. The lot needs to be replaced. Yeah. It's it, it's um, um, whenever the Benko pool was installed, that's when the lot went in. We haven't had to do any repairs to it, but now it's at the point where it's to pass its useful life. We're getting some severe cracking. Um, and at that point in time, we're going to get potholing and then it's becoming a, a tripping mm -hmm. factor. We have a lot of people use that lot for the entire summer. So I'd rather get take it out and put it in a brand new lot before the season. And given the change, like uh, I'm sorry. Into <laughs> Does it include the lot between the pool and the paddle courts or not? It does not. That that lot is actually under design uh, yeah. at present to uh, be replaced probably next year, year after. That uh, that's our that's our goal is uh, to do that. That that's in conjunction with some work that we're trying to do at the paddle hut and the paddle courts. If you will, there's a yeah. That, that one needs it more than anywhere else, as far as I know. But that's fine if it's coming in a year. That's, yeah, we have there. That's a great question and a, and a great observation. It, it's just that the grades there are um, uh, for certain portions of the lot are non-compliant. So we've had the lot surveyed, and we're having it designed now to make sure that we're going to match the grades that are required specifically for the accessible spaces. We'll be looking to relocate the accessible spaces to a better location closer to Paddle and the Paddle Lodge. And that's part of it, but it's, you know, it, it, um, so at present, it's just trying to save this lot. I can save it at a mill and pave and another year or two, I'm going to have to come in and reclaim it. And that's a, it's a market change. It's about a say $22 per square yard to mill and pave. It's about 60 mm. for reclaim and pave. And so I'd like to save it before that, that, that. Um, could, could we be lucky enough to expect another 20 years once you do this? Yeah. We'll get well, yeah, because we we um we'll be looking at crack ceiling at five, and then uh in a certain type of overlay again. You'll uh, get to vote on it one more time. 
years. <laughs> 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Might be somebody else sitting here. I'm sorry, I, I'm not quite certain. You know, he really didn't come up for that, did he? Zero, but it's pretty close. Okay, other questions. Sounds like a smart move. Pull it yeah. forward. Get it done. Call him anything, Michael? No, we agree. Bob, you good? I agree. Okay, motion to approve. Motion. Chris, uh, second, Michael. All in yeah. favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. So move. Thank you. Thank you. Let's Please jump to the playhouse and then um, just to remind again, we have a whole bunch of bond authorizations. We are going to pull the Police. COPPA one out and have that go first because um, Mike's here and we'll go through the discussion and get that one done and then we'll do, do the other ones. Okay. So playhouse. I had, we had asked for this a plan and the bookends of the plan are the, as follows. Today is one end. Lights go down and the movie goes on. Those are the two bookends. <laughs> mm -hmm. How are we doing? Uh, we're doing well. Do we have a plan? We have a plan. Okay. So the uh, and I have a, a schedule in front of me. It's it's a uh, uh, we can we can submit it to you as well. But the uh, so we uh, met with the contractor again today. Uh, the contractor is still feeling uh, confident that he'll hit the uh, June twenty one date, provided that. The front doors and the sound doors, the soundproof doors, arrive. I mean, that's our one problem. So they they were ordered several months ago. <clears throat> They're slated to ship on June one and be arrived on June ten. That's our caveat. So provided that that happens, we can open. You know, at that point, get the doors in and and uh, open the theater. Um, so that's that's the uh, that's the caveat that we have. We have um, the cabinets themselves. For the bar and the concession stand, uh, they're being uh, shipped on the week of the 422. Uh, and then once they're installed, we can then measure for the countertops because the countertops are, are um, uh, have to be measured in place at that point in time and then cut and measured in place so we can have those installed. Um, the last two fresh air fans have been, uh, have been shipped. That's a good thing. And Cinema Lab has bought the lights that are required. So all the fixtures that we were originally okay. looking at, we were looking at a delay, they bought all those. Um, so what we have is we have the theater fit out subcontractor will be on site uh, around April 15. Um, he's got about a month's worth of work and then we'll ship the AV equipment to arrive by um, April 29 and then be installed in May. So we're, we'll have that shipped to uh, caster moving, have it stored so it doesn't get damaged. And then the AV uh, subcontractor will come in in May and install um, everything there. And we're feeling that the theaters will be completed by June 7th. The, um, the other milestones, if you will, the seats are slated to be installed on May 15th. The flooring installation will begin at the end of April. Uh, painting of the theater has already begun. Most of the sheetrocking is going in. Deanna went there yesterday and today. And so a lot of sheetrocks going in, that's excellent. That means that the walls are being sealed up. So there's no extra work behind it. Everything's been approved. The, it's been uh, inspected by our building department. And then we have punch list items in June. So the only caveat item that we have are the front doors. We're looking at a um, contingency plan okay. for that. If we can't necessarily uh, get the doors that we want, can we still put in a, mm -hmm. you know, something else yeah. and then go forward, open, you know, have a grand opening with non grand doors and then mm -hmm. come back and have a, you know, a different one later on. Mm -hmm. So that's our, uh, that's, that's where we stand at present. Questions? Where are the doors coming from? <laughs> I, I don't know that question. I'm sorry. The, uh, that's the one. That's the one question that wasn't answered because I had a question of where are they being shipped right. from. Yeah, exactly. yeah, that matters. But then once I got the date that they were being shipped on the first and coming on the tenth, yeah. it's it's not yeah, a slow boat from China. It's a, <laughs> it's it's a, it's actually domestic. So which is a good thing. What's going to be the first movie? That I don't know. That's up to Cinema Lab. I will find you know, Nemo. Finding Nemo. Uh, you, I'm not sure that the Nightmare one. Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you just think of that? Oh, How's that not been? Uh, that's fantastic. It writes it's itself. Fantastic. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Tucker. Yeah. It's true, though. PSA. We have the PSA if you we need something. Right. Seriously. Right. Right. All right. A continuous loop for two hours. Um, do we know? Do we? Uh, there's there been discussions about a couple of things. Yeah, they, yes, they had a couple of different items. Yeah, 
dates. Celebrities to accompany yep. the Depending on who's it. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so maybe we're a little early on that. Um, we'll see you in May on this. <laughs> Certainly, I'll be back in May. It's a big deal. Right, big I understand. Deal. I know you know. I know you know. And thanks for all your hustling to get everything done so this far. Okay, anything else? Questions? Okay. Okay, so that takes care of everything except the bond authorization. So um, just to reorient everybody here, we've got um, two amendments we're going to do. Um, then we've got, I think it's 13, Tucker, 14? 13. 13. It's actually going to be 12. Well, uh, 12 and then one, sorry. Yeah, 12 and then one for um, resolutions on a number of things. I don't know, I'll, we're going to go, I'm just going to read off what they are dollar wise and what it's for. We've already approved all this. This is the, for the bonding. However, in this is the, um, the uh, authorization for an appropriation of six and a half million dollars for the COPPO project of which 2 million of that will be bonded by the town of New Canaan. Correct. Said correctly? That's, That's correct. correct. Okay. So, I know people had questions about a few things. Our process is we would approve this. It goes to town council. That authorization then goes to the first sort of selectmen and then they approve it once everything's in place. So I don't know, Mike, if you wanna do an update on fundraising or how things are going, um, give everybody sort of a snapshot um, since we're just a piece of this, but uh, obviously it's a, it's a big program, big project. Sure. Uh, Thank you. Thanks, thanks for coming too. Thanks for having me again. Um, I don't have anything formally prepared. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. We've been through the process now, started back in January with the selectman's office through your board, then with town council on a couple of presentations. Um, I think we've landed in a, in a place um, mm -hmm. of 2 million from the town. Um, the group feels good about that um, and, and we're excited and, and, and feel the support, which is nice. Um, our perspective now, and you know, this is important from a fundraising standpoint, like we've got good money in the bank and hard commitments because we didn't know exactly where we we're gonna land on the dollar amount and what was gonna come from the town. We now have a very clear plan to make sure that we have those monies raised for before we sign any kind of a contract. And so I met with the group last week and um, between now and the beginning of June, ending with culminating with the June 1st fundraiser, that's now a big time fundraiser being planned to put over the top. I've built campaigns like this before and generally they start in the private phase. You build the private phase and anchor tenants and, and then you blow it up into a much more public phase, which is I think where we are now because if like, this project's a go, we have the support from the town, we can work backwards from you know, spring of 2025 towards now, then we feel comfortable about getting very public about it and going wider with the support. So um, that's where I would say where, where we are. Uh, we have a very clear plan. We know what the targets are. We know where we have to be. Um, right, two, two questions I think that would to throw out. One will be, when would you start in the steps between now and then, I'm sure there's P and Z and there's other. So there's, yeah, there's several steps folks. involved first. So in and wetlands is one, mm -hmm. and then P and Z is another. Mm -hmm. P and Z will not um, answer until in and wetlands makes a decision. Yeah. So we submitted our package to in and wetlands. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll receive the full package, the printed package tomorrow morning, May 1. We have a field review for they'll come out and take a look at, you know, so the prior to their meeting, they come out and do a field review so they can see exactly mm -hmm. what is uh, is envisioned. And then we go to Inland Wetlands on the 20th of May. Okay. Uh, we'll be submitting to P&Z on the 29th of April, but not being heard until June 25th. Okay. Their June meeting, because their May meeting will be filled, is already filled and it's filled with St. Luke's. Um, so we okay. we're waiting to be uh, on the June 25th meeting. At that point in time, town approvals are pretty much mm -hmm. done. There might be some conditions from Inland Wetlands. There might be some conditions from P and Z. We'll incorporate those into the plan set, and then <clears throat> look to finalize. We'll be finalizing plans as we go, so it'll be kind of a <clears throat> twofold, um, you know, um, direction. So the uh, the consultants will be finalizing the plans, and then we'll add in any condition that might come in from Inland Wetlands or P and Z uh, into the into mm -hmm. the plan set, and then go to bid, and then go forward from there, and then. 
So we'd have to, you, right, we go to bid, we'll review the bids, come up with a, um, a selection of the contractor that we would like to choose and then go to the Board of Selectmen for approval of that contract or those last, contracts. Kind of last step. Right. When do they have to get started to be playing? In we would like to be some uh, sometime in the fall, okay. you know, early fall. So our, our goal is to actually get, you know, to get once these plans are done, that's the reason why we have a kind of a dual role working. We're by finalizing the plans while we're working through the permitting process and, and almost be done with permitting process and plans at the exact same time so we can go to bid right after. Okay. I think there is one thing because we discussed it a little bit that I wanted to bring up, you know, to date with the soft costs in this project, architectural design, um, landscape, architect, all of that, the athletic foundation has paid for all of that at, to date at, from our side. Mm -hmm. And there's another contract, a, a larger contract coming due for soft costs within the next month, I think, That's right? correct. next couple of weeks that um, for me, it's a, it's a bigger ask. I think it's on 300,000, 300, $300, $350,000. We were willing in the fall to make that payment for the soft costs because we felt good about our quote unquote risk capital at work. This one, um, I want to be very sure that we're going forward with this project before I cut a check of private donor monies for an additional $350,000. Sure. Um, I just want to put that out there on the record because now we're we're in the ninth inning uh, to sure. use a baseball metaphor. I think you're in the seventh inning. Uh, <laughs> in terms of <laughs> right. actually seeing this push forward, at least, seven, yes. Seven, I, yeah, long long of a double, let's say ninth inning of a double header. There you go. How about that? <laughs> uh, no, I mean, of course, I think you've got, you have no choice. You've got to do that. Yeah, sure. Okay. Of course. Yeah. I'll just put a little, a slight other piece of editorial. So I just came from a baseball game at Mead Park. Can you win? We won eight four. My son went three for three, oh, hey. um, but this is the interesting part. So he went three for three with two doubles and a triples. The two doubles was the first was a routine fly ball to center field hit hit that tree. hit the massive tree and dropped. That's classic. The second That's home field advantage. What that is? The second was a shot to right center that was going to be probably forty feet over the fence for a home run. That hit the tree and dropped yeah. in play for a double. Give it away, take it. So away. I'm conflicted as to whether I want to move this field or not. Like it, That's but what you it, say it about is the, the green monster, right? Yeah, Give it away, exactly. take it away. Exactly. Anyway, well, it's just congrats interesting. Congrats on the win and the, yeah. and the three for three. Awesome. awesome. Questions? That's a good status uh, update. Uh, yeah. Just to oh, open it. Go ahead. Ben Victor. Wacky question, but um, contributions, is it generally appreciated stock or is it cash? I mean, I'm just. I mean, they have the option to do anything what because do usually, what do people usually show? Cash. Up okay. I've, I, I mean, that's good. I, I've, there's all kinds of. I've, I've never received a building or a car. <laughs> um, got, Are you uh, putting that out? Cash there? and stocks. <laughs> Oriental rugs. Oriental rugs. No and, and I guess one other thing that's in the back of my mind, um, like, or is any is there naming in any of this? Or, I mean, it's cop the field, so I'm hoping I'm not going to see a whole bunch of. I mean, as part of the MOU, the Athletic Foundation has the ability to come and ask for naming. There's been nothing specific in this project where somebody has come forward and with a, a gift amount that, you know, we have, we discuss it as a board, but we have levels where we talk about naming. Nobody has come I mean, I'm sure there are with that level. Yes, that, that, that stuff. That, Everybody will be, um, if you recall, the donor wall at, at Dunning Stadium, even donors to this project because it's through the athletic foundation will be recognized on that wall likely in addition to at the baseball field but nobody has specifically come forward and said i want this to be hamill field at capo stadium <laughs> although it could happen <laughs> certainly open to that all in favor <laughs> no more questions <laughs> uh victor yeah, I just wanted to note that section one of the resolution seems to have a mistake in it because it says something Kiwanis. about Kiwanis and yeah. the Nature Center and other No, things. there's a there's two separate different resolution. Different yeah. resolution. There's Sorry. That's, that's not the Capo Field one. So no, there's separate. Right. Oh, okay. yeah, there's two six and a half million dollar Sorry, yeah. resolutions. Million. Well, there's a two pager that says I'm just on our table. It says resolution authorizing appropriation six and a half million dollars for Capo Field 2024 project. And right. on the third line is section one. The project is defined as Kiwanis Pond. 
No, it's it's n for the expression. No. I thought it was compiled. Yeah, on page twenty, two. section one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I, that's what I said to you earlier, Tucker. Um, Did I get the verbiage? Yeah, at Nature Center. Yep. They might have it, it looks the like the wrong. project is correct, but then it says resolve. The six and a half million dollars is for the Nature Center and Kiwanis mm -hmm. Pond and design and all that. Yeah. I, good catch. Yep. <laughs> I didn't bother you at six thirty, but now it's seven forty. What was the? The only part of the resolution you're going to read is in bold. Yeah. So we can uh, we can correct the language down below, yeah. but the resolution yeah. is in bold is the one that's in bold. All caps. Yes, all caps. That one. And in that particular one, you're going to take the last uh, sixty six point five million dollars, the very last one, and change that to two. Million. Yeah. Yeah, to be clear, and to have it said, it's the authorizing the appropriation of six and a half million dollars for the Copperfield project, and that. Are the anticipation of the bonds would not exceed two million dollars from part of, on the part of New Canaan. So, we'll, well, that's what we're voting on. Okay, other questions? Anybody? Michael, you good? But Victor, then Victor, we, we we don't want to reference the minutes do we? Uh, the agenda. No, because this isn't correct. On this one, we were pulling out. That's why so, I pulled it out. Yeah, we're pulling yeah, this one out to address yeah, this, and then the language will be changed. That's why I pulled it out. Yes. Yeah. It'll be corrected in a minute. That's why I want to do it separately. Okay, if not, we can vote as I just described. We'll just do this one. Yeah. We're just going to do this one separate, remember? All and right. we're going to go to the other ones. Okay, so it's a it's a, um, a motion to approve the resolution for the appropriation of $6.5 million for the Capo Field project. You should read it into the minutes, right? Yeah, it's just this okay. bolding here, and, okay. and I'll, I'll keep going. And the set appropriation by the issuance of general obligation bonds of the town and notes in anticipation of such bonds in an amount not to exceed $2 million. That's the difference. Okay. All in favor? In a second. Oh, so, sorry. How about you? You motioned Maria? Second. Bob. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Opposed. Opposed, Victor? One. Okay. So moved. Thank you, everyone. Thank Mike, you. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Okay, just call the roll. I'll call the roll. Okay. Sorry. No, nope, no worries. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Tom Schulte. Uh, in favor. Yay. Tom Levieri. Yay. Michael Chen. Yay. Chris Labrice. Yay. Victor Alvarez. Yay. Maria Weingarten. Yay. Robert Hamill. Yay. Colin Dobbin. Aye. James, do we seat you? Uh, no. Okay. okay. Motions. Motions approved. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right. So, Chris, do you want to review? Yeah. How we're going to go from here, or do you want me to do the headline news on these, or? Why don't you? Uh, yeah. Let's do the headline news. Okay. And then we'll vote all of those. And then we'll go back to the two amendments. Okay, that's fine. That's a and good I, process. I just ask if we can do one amendment to the chief in here. Because oh, amendments are, are related to the chief. Just get them done. <laughs> we'll get them both done. All right, yeah, that's just done. so, yeah, chief took a right. Okay, I'll read these. Out. Okay. Bond, uh, bond authorization amendments, resolution amending, resolution authorizing an appropriation of 27500000 dollars the police station 2023 project and the financing of said appropriation by the issuance of general obligation bonds of the town and notes in anticipation of such bonds in an amount not to exceed 27,500 to increase such by 200,000. Motion. I'm sorry. You said 27,000, not 27 million. 27,500,000 to increase yeah. by 200,000. Down. Increasing the amount by two. 27,700. To 27,700. Yeah, it's 200,000. Unclear so whether you're doing the math. So now it's so, 20. You probably should so be clear it, what the new number is. Because, of, well, she had to, do, in doing an amendment, it's saying what the original was, yeah. and okay. then it's exceeding this to increase such, um, by 200,000. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I'll move. Okay. Okay. Bob, second. Second. Victor, all in favor? Aye. 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 
Aye. Aye. Opposed? None? Okay, so moved. Thank you. Okay, second amendment. Resolution amending resolution authorizing an appropriation of $1 million for the fire equipment 2023 project and the financing of said appropriation by the issuance of general obligation bonds of the town and notes in anticipation of such bonds in an amount not to exceed 1 million to increase such by 200,000. Right. Motion. Motion to approve. Motion. Maria, second. Tom? Um, yep. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. So moved. Right. Thank you. Okay, we have a few more. <laughs> 12. Again, you've approved these. This is just to, uh, the process is going to, I'm just going to read the, the 12 items just to remind and refresh everyone's memory. And then what we'd like to do is one motion and we can approve them all for the agenda. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, one resolution was for $225,000 for information technology projects. Uh, $62,000 for parking, uh, $80,000 for the fire department uh, 2024 project and financing of some bonds for that, uh, $139,226 for emergency management project, $52,500 uh, for, for a police vehicle, $2 million for the Department of Public Works town building projects, 7.1 million for the Department of Public Works Administration and Engineering projects, um, an appropriation of 760,000 for Department of Public Works Highway and Transfer Station, 1.2 million four thousand for Department of Public Works Parks project. We discussed Capo, uh, 3,252,500 for the schools 2024 projects. Uh, an appropriation of four million for Department of uh, Public Works wastewater treatment. I remember talking about that one, and um, seventy-five thousand dollars for the bond premium project. Those are all of the items that we need to vote with a motion to approve. Do you need a total for what you're approving? No. Do we need a total for what we're approving? It's per the agenda, so I don't think. Per the agenda, taking out item uh, resolution 10. number ten. You've already done that one. Do that. Did you set it all up? I did it. Total is eighteen million nine hundred fifty thousand two hundred twenty-six. Baseball field, right? It's good to know. We, we, we did the extra. We increased. They weren't in here. Oh, I see. They're not. They're not in this list. I just read those. That's why we kept them separate. Exactly. 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 I didn't read copper. Yeah. No, yeah. Okay. 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 For the agenda, so moved. For the agenda on those mo on a motion. Thank you, Tom. Second. Second. Who is that, Michael? Second. Yeah. Thank you. All in favor? Um, Aye. Opposed? None. So moved. And you got it. Okay. Thank you. That team is our agenda. 54 minutes. I actually did not expect that. <laughs> Anything else? When, when would we go to bond this? Just curious. Uh, that's a great question, Ian. When will the bonding happen for some of what we just passed? Most of these projects will not be bonded until this uh, calendar year 26 because we do it in arrears. So depending on what's completed by next bonding will be March of 26. So depending on what's completed, uh, we might pull in, but we March have 26. March 26. So uh, I'm sorry, March of 25. Yeah. I'm sorry. Thank you. March of 25. We have approximately that time period about 30 million to bond. We have 43 outstanding. But we have about 30 million, 30 million based on what we think is going to be completed. We have 18 months from the point of project is completed, and some of those projects are going on right now that we have to have them bonded. So these projects then will look at the timeline of when we think they're done and then gauge that on what time period we have to put them in. Because the idea is to get as big a chunk at one time as well. Well, the reason we're, we haven't bonded in two years, the last time was December of 21. 
uh, three years, December of 21 is the last time. And we had some projects coming up against that 18 months, but we also have, um, when we do projects like the Playhouse, that's actually technically a um, taxable bond, okay. but uh, in the bonding um, world, there is a 5% uh, ability to take a project that's a taxable project and put it in a uh, tax exempt. So whatever the level of your bonding is, you can take up to 5% and take a taxable project and pay it out. So with the Playhouse, we've split some in this current bonding to cover it as tax, uh, tax exempt, and we'll have it next year. But we'll have the police station a big chunk of that, and that will use up general funds. We'll need to reimburse ourselves. Okay. Other questions? Tiger, do you, are you starting the um, wastewater treatment? What's the timing on that? Sorry, I got a, got someone asked me that question. I meant to ask you when you were there. Sorry. So the uh, we'll be going to the board of selectmen on Tuesday for the contract for AECOM to up AECOM's contract to then cover the design. So we'll start that whole process. We couldn't necessarily start until we knew we had green light. So Tuesday, we'll go to the Board of Selectmen. We already have that money so that we had in arrears prior <clears throat> that we spoke about to cover that portion of the design. And then they'll work through the design and then go to construction okay. from there. Okay. So we're looking at probably about a, you know six months to nine months at least for design and then go into construction okay. at that point. Okay. <clears throat> okay. There's nothing else. Any other business? Motion to adjourn. Motion. Motion. So Holmes, Colin, thank you. All in favor? Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Opposed? None? So moved. Thank you, everyone. Thanks,